Warning, warning, warning. Electricity is for... Shh! Trying to make a video. Electricity is for professionals only. And this is my favorite Made in USA Amp Probe. Amp Probe. Bought that brand new 15 years ago. Put it in the shower and dropped it and busted the antenna off. Flush with the radio. Total use. 30 seconds. Sits there in the box. Can't bear to throw it away. Anyhow, there's no power here. Oops. I've been tinkering with this, and after I had it all wired up, I realized, oops, I made one mistake. Because the power comes out of there, and it used to go to the heater with the thermostat right there. But that thermostat was acting up, so instead of changing it, I thought I'd put a thermostat here by the wall, by the door where it belongs. So I did my wiring, and I was thinking about it. I said, wait a second. The thermostat is going to control that heater. It's a single pole thermostat. It breaks one leg of the 208 volts, same as 220. So I ran an extra wire to there and to here. So this black wire is not switched. <sighs> the white is switched. So the white goes to here, but the other white, the new, anyways. Let's see if I figured this out and got it right. Yeah, nine o'clock. What else? Let's see. Ooh, ooh, flat tire. Yep, gotta fix that. Drop my newspaper. Mitt Wealthy Romney. Gotta fix that. Someone closed the door with a little kicker leg down. Uh huh. Mr. CW doesn't know how to use these things, I suppose. <sighs> Went to the new car wash today. It's an Echo car wash. They use less water. Yeah. They also don't clean the truck as well. Oh well. I bought a hundred bucks worth of coupons, so I guess I'm stuck with it. And they got off 99% of the crap, but they left a few spots. But whatever. They're always busy, so they don't need my business. Fish room heater. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> huh! Need some wire. Going to need it if we get the permit to build those apartments in the warehouse. So, I didn't pop a breaker yet. What is this? Doorway art? So... Let's see. Turn the water off to the whole building. <laughs> Don't touch that. Oh, you have to be a responsible adult. It ain't easy, but... Take my Amp Probe Tester. I went to buy a new one today. They're all sold out. Amp Probe, made in USA. Better than the Fluke. Better than the Chinese ones. Got power there. Got power there. I want to have power here so I can plug in a range or a dryer or a construction heater if this heater craps out. Look at that. Power there. And here, the power, the white one should be. Who knows what I did. The good thing is I have power there at the receptacle and this should turn the heater on or pop a breaker. Click! I don't know if this thermostat works. I found it in my junk pile. Those are heavy-duty thermostats. Poof. Like I said, I think that thermostat's junk. It's easy enough to change, though. That's a single bearing motor. It's a floating shaft. Markel. Markel Electric Products, made in USA, Buffalo, New York. Not anymore. I don't think that thermo thermostat works. Like I said, I found it in my junk pile. So if it's off now, all it is is two contact points on a piece of by metallic wire. Let's see. Huh. 
which leg is switched. I gotta think about what I did here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything shows hot. I'm gonna pull off that thermostat cover and just touch the two wires together and make sparks. Temperature here is 57 degrees, 14 Celsius. It's not cold outside, that's why. Karaoke, anybody? All right. Cut the thermostat off. It uses set screws on the top, and the wire goes in through the back. Well-made stuff. Hazard of electric shock, high voltage disconnect power before mechanism is removed from outlet box, Markel. Hmm. Anyhow, let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't blow things up too often, once in a while. I do alright. Okay. Actually, black should be dead and the white should be hot. Yep. Touch them together. Closes the circuit. I think I'll put a wire nut on. Wire nut. don't need much, I just want to test it because I, I don't think that my thermostat is good. It's a good heavy duty one, but it's a worn out one. So, let's see what happens. Ah! See? Told you the thermostat was no good. Now what I have to do, I could just bypass this and get rid of it because of course it's still got contact points that just spring together when you move the cam releases pressure on the bimetallic spring and lets it contact the other stationary point. So look at that. Got heat. It's a big heater. It's 5,000 watts which divided by 208 volts is 23 or something amps. So I use number 10 wire multi-strand. And now I've got these wires here. I'm going to hook up a receptacle which is my junk pile, all my junk. Where did I put the receptacle? Remember these, NCR disabled? <laughs> They're still sitting here. Yep, maybe we'll meet at Muscle Palooza in the spring in Lebanon Valley. Handicap access, no problemo. You just bake in the sun and bring an umbrella for your wheelchair. Uh, where did I put the 220 volt four wire receptacle? Right here somewhere. Hmm, <laughs> here's some notes. These notes are from 2007 when my Corvair broke down in California and I blew the differential up. The towing guy ripped me off. What a friggin' fiasco that was. I hate putting this on there because it will fall down. $17.84. Aha! Piles of junk. There it is. So I'm going to hook this up. This cheap outlet. Inlet. I'm hook it up there and turn the power off again. Messing around with 220 volts, that'll make your hair stand up straight. And uh, disconnect this, and the heater should stop. Now I got a thermostat. <laughs> Look at that spark, it's a 23 amp spark. Poof. A lot of juice there, let me tell you. A buddy of mine's a lineman, he works with 10,000 volts. Serious stuff, let me tell you. One of his guys he worked with or was working with got electrocuted and died. Blows your heart up. 50,000 beats per second.
and you ain't a hummingbird, so. All right, I'll put on my wire away and put that cover back on. It's been open for years because I was wiring something up temporarily. It's been open for years. I finally put that cover back on if I could find it in this mess. Oh, dear me. So, it's after 9 o'clock and uh, close up shop. Comfort zone. It just cycled by itself. Cool. Turn it off, click it off, and then go back up a little bit. And that's good. So tomorrow I have to mortise the hinges for the doors upstairs. And I'm going to put a couple extra lamps somewhere over here, maybe. Or over there, right in front of the door where I can whack the bulbs. And one over here. Oop! What did I just hear? I just heard something. I can get my key. Bring her up! You hear it? Stop bourbon! Temperature 26 degrees, minus 3 Celsius. You hear the vacuum pump. <laughs> Shiny wheels. That's it. 10.30. I guess it's enough, huh? Oop, I gotta sweep this mess up here. Don't like having messes everywhere. That's what happens when you get old. Don't worry about little piles of dirt that when you're a kid you never even give two thoughts to. You never even give two thoughts to. I was talking to Sharpshooter earlier today. He's got a job maintaining diesel trucks some company. It has to be at work at 6 o'clock in the morning. 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm thinking of going to bed. <laughs> no, I'm not that bad. What the heck happened here? Mrs. CW must have been here doing a big cleanup. You can see the floor. Alright, I'm going to sweep up that mess. Everything in its place and a place for everything. Wow. Emergency lights never installed. Cleanup time for rent. I was at my friend's restaurant the other day and he was making chicken livers. He was doing this. He wasn't missing. He wasn't even missing it in the pan and I can't even do it. I just dumped it on the ground. I'm getting tired. I'm getting punchy. It's 10.30. Alrighty. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's funny that I was reading you the McDonald's wrapper earlier for the french fries. The 2.6 ounces for the small or the 4.2 for the big. That's, that's from 1979 when I used to work at McDonald's. Flipping burger. Then Michelle Obama says today we shouldn't have kids eating potato chips and washing it down with a soda. It's poison, and it really is. We've become a nation of junk food addicts. And we think it's good, and we think it's freedom, and we think it's freedom of choice. And it's actually not freedom of choice. It's the guys making soda and potato chips that have convinced us that it's freedom of choice. It's freedom to be stupid. Eat carrots. Yeah, right.